Hello Cancer, welcome to your February 2021 tarot reading. I am Tanya from Sarva Yoga Tarot. So I hope you had a good month of January and we're gonna go starting off with some shuffling. But if you wanna skip the shuffling, you can go directly to your reading by looking at the timestamps below this video. Thank you for being here and thank you for already more than 1,700 subscribers. I feel really honored. If you want to see other playlists of me, I have each one playlist only for love readings, one for money readings and one for monthly and yearly readings. Now let's not lose any time and go right into shuffling. Angels and spirit guides, would you please come here and guide our beautiful Cancer people out there throughout their month of February on their highest possible spiritual path, please. Cancer, February 2021. Past, present, and future, please, for Cancer February 2021, please. Thank you. Ten of Wands, the end of the struggle. Okay. <laughs> We've got two cards that flipped here. The one that flipped is the Five of Pentacles, and the one that fell to the table is Six of Pentacles and a Queen of Swords. Okay, interesting. Anything else, please? For Cancer, for February 2021, please. Anything else for Cancer? Thank you. Three of Pentacles, we like that. Okay, well, let's see if we can get a clarifier. And spirit guides, would you please clarify the cards here on the table for Cancer for February 2021, please? Cancer February 2021, please. Thank you. The Four of Pentacles on the Ten of Swords. You've got a lot of pentacles in this reading. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> Stay here, my friend. Ace of Swords. We needed that. Thank you. Six of Cups on the Six of Pentacles. Now that's interesting. And we've got the Tower, the Six of the Nine of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Okay, we're gonna get an Angel card. Angels and spirit guides, would you please? Okay, <laughs> that's a very clear answer. New beginning, wonderful, you like that? And then let's see if we can get a card here. Angels and spirit guides, would you please guide me and give me a card for Cancer for February here in 2021, please? Okay, good, wonderful, we like that. So I think we're done shuffling and we're gonna go right into your reading. So Cancer, here is your reading for February. Um, the first card that fell was the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands means this is the end of the hard path. So you've been carrying a lot of weight on your back and this is the end of it. Why is that the end? Because this is a number 10. So after the 10 comes the one, so you're going away from all of the hardship and struggles and you're going into a new path. 
Um, definitely we have here the four of pentacles so somebody was the actually there were so many pentacles in this reading that um, I have the feeling there was a lot going on around the money for you so this is a person that really thinks about how much money can I spend how much money do I have to keep in order to survive this is someone who uh, knows exactly how to keep the money yeah that's somebody who doesn't spend it so easily because you can see with both both feet are on the pentacle both hands are on the pentacle and one is tied to the hat so this person is more keeping the money so maybe there was somebody in your life who is very slowly with spending a dime you know somebody who thinks 10 times before you would spend something or maybe there is someone who wants to just you know save money for later or for a rainy day i don't know if this is you or someone around you but definitely somebody was thinking a lot about the money and how how much men can we spend so that we can still uh, sustain the living then there was definitely some form of extreme hurt in the past why do i say this because you've got um the three of swords the five of pentacles and the tower so with this combination it's for example possible that your uh your business went into bankruptcy in the past because five of pentacles means feeling left out in the cold losing money um tower means it came very suddenly very it was crashing down and the three of uh, swords is talking about heartache it really hurt you so i don't know if this was about the money or your business or if you lost your job or something like this but it seems like something has hurt you which is concerning the money yeah something has hurt you which is concerning the physical things of life yeah maybe the car crashed or or something happened but but it was sudden you were shocked by the outcome and you didn't really like it it, it was hurtful yeah so but then we have very very good cards coming up because with the ace of swords this is the new beginning i was talking about because when the tower has fallen we're going to build back a new tower yeah this is what we do in life if something crashes if something doesn't work we're just gonna go our ways and start something else that's how we do it in life right so you are starting something new here and this sword also means that you're getting clarity yeah it means that you're getting a very good idea yeah either you find out what was wrong in the past so that this tower crashed or you find uh, new ideas so on how to build your new tower so that your new tower is going to be much better than the old one it's going to be much more stable because it's not going to be built on sand anymore it's going to be built on solid rock and this is what you want you want to build build rebuild your tower but in a better way than before and you will because you go right to the six of pentacles so you are having equal give and take here so if you lost your job in the past this means your new job is equal give and take that means your time is rewarded yeah it's equally rewarded it's not that you're getting too little or too much for your time you're getting the exact right amount yeah it's fair this is a card of fairness and you have the six of uh, cups six of cups can talk about meeting somebody who you haven't seen for a long time or hearing from somebody it could be that somebody calls you writes you an email writes your text message somebody maybe from your childhood someone you know from school somebody you haven't talked to in a while and they talk to you about you know nostalgic things the reminiscing about the old days and maybe they're even gonna help you yeah these people are definitely this is a, a positive reunion what i see here yeah and you've got the equal give and take card plus you have the queen of swords so either you or someone around you is an excellent eloquent person an excellent communicator very good in rhetorical things in speeches somebody who knows exactly how to be diplomatic so in the best case this person is acting diplomatic and in the worst case this person has words that cut yeah so this person can if he or she wants to speak very hurtful but in this case i have the feeling that it's more somebody who speaks the truth somebody who speaks about you know who gets the things clearly on point 
yeah, not talking around the, the topic, but really hitting it on point, yeah. And then you've got a card of huge gifts, yeah, the Nine of Cups, this is a huge emotional gift, you get everything that you want, and not only emotional, also physical, yeah, this is a huge gift from the universe, you get all that you want, I mean, this is, the picture is showing it, the woman is sitting on a, a rich table, there's nothing missing, yeah, she has the fruit and the veggies, everything she wants, yeah, this is beautiful. And then you've got the three of pentacles. So you're definitely doing something with other people. This is teamwork. This is rebuilding the new tower together. So the old tower, it crashed down, but here are your friends to say, hey, let's do it. Let's build another one. And this time we're gonna do it a little better. <laughs> so you've got the help from your friends. And I told you here with the Ace of Swords, I told you there's a new beginning coming, yeah? And here is the confirmation. You've got the zero, yeah? This is the new beginning. And this means, uh, this is the equivalent of the, the Fool card in Tarot. The Fool is a strong card, a major arcana card, and it means a new start. So no wonder after the tower, of course you go into a new start, yeah? There's, there's nothing else to do. When, when the old world has crashed down, then you go into a new one. And this time you're gonna be guarded by an angel. So this is the spirit of going into new endeavors, trusting the universe, trusting the divine timing, knowing that everything is gonna be okay, being accompanied by angels and, and your ancestors from the spirit realm. They see you and they go with you on this new endeavor. And you're excited to do it. You love it. You're, you're basically in for, with, with optimism, yeah? You start this new endeavor and you think, yes, this time I can do it, it's gonna be great. So this is your new start here. And it says, just let go of all the things that are holding you back. You just have to make that new step. And then I was getting a, a card from the sign deck and it said exactly the same. It said, that which is done happens practically on its own. I'm going to show you again. That which is done happen, happens practically on its own. This is a go card, okay? This means it's your time to go. It's your time for action. Just do it. Yeah? If you want to say it in one sentence, the reading says just do it. Go into your new endeavor. Go into that thing that you never dared to do but always dreamed of. Because the Fool card, the new beginning card, is also saying that you have a safety net. The universe is going to cover when, when something is, you know, when, when you start something new and you don't know what's, at start everything is a little bit of chaos, yeah? You, you don't know what's going to happen exactly and how it's all going to work out, but spirit is by your side, yeah? So you've got this safety net in the spiritual realm. And just because we cannot see physically the spiritual realm, realm it's still there, okay? It's, it's basically like the air we breathe. We can't see it, but it's here, yeah? And we interact with it. We interact with the spirit realm every day, consciously or not. <laughs> so um, what I see here is that you will develop past your hurts, past this tower moment that you had, whether it was loss of a job or bankruptcy of a business. And you're going to start something new and it's going to be right and just and, and filled with equality and your friends are going to help you. Yeah, because we had the Three of Pentacles, which is the card of collaboration and teamwork. We've got a lot of energy of someone around you who can speak and negotiate really well. Because Queen of Swords is a card of negotiation. So if you have to negotiate a new contract, then you're going to make it like this, that you have the feeling it's an equal give and take. Yeah, because this is the card of equal give and take. So it's definitely the end of struggling, as I said here, with the Ten of Wands. And that's a good thing. So Cancer, I hope you liked the reading. If you did, please leave me a comment and let me know how it resonated for you. I'm always very curious to read that. Now, I want you to remember throughout your month of February that whatever the question is in your life, love is the answer. Now, I hope you have a beautiful month ahead and I hope to see you soon. Bye.